Hi everybody, I would just like to talk about swine flu today. Now, if you're like me and you're incredibly sick of hearing about swine flu 24-7, um, then take a look at this video and leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, it's just so annoying that there's so many more problems than swine flu. Like, it's really ridiculous and it's gotten completely blown out of proportion. It, they were making such a big deal because, oh, so many people died from it. Well, a lot of people die from a lot more diseases. I don't know what this obsession is with it, okay? In most cases, it's not lethal. I don't understand it. I've, I don't even know if I've ever had the flu, but I don't, I'm not going to go out and get the flu shot or the H1N1 vaccine just out of prevention. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's just stupid. If I get it, I get it. I don't really care. The chances of me dying are slim. You know, um, I could walk out the door tomorrow and get hit by a car, for example. There's not really much of a difference between, like, that and H1N1. Like, a lot more people die from other things than that than swine flu and they're making it like oh it's killing all these people like it's like the bubonic plague or something no it's not like that um what else was I gonna say oh yes um the reason I don't want to get vaccinated is because I don't trust the drug companies now you probably will call me ignorant or something like that but I don't really care because in the long run I just don't feel like my philosophy is the better, the, the least, <laughs> the less amount of stuff that I inject into my body, take in, the less, the more, the more natural things are, the better off I'm going to be. Because my mom and me were talking about this last night and she was saying how all these people, like some people get put on like 40 different medications that they have to take every day. And like it just doesn't seem like they're gonna know all the side effects and everything. It's crazy. Like, how do you know how some of those medications are gonna interact with one another? Like, there's just no way of knowing, you know? And, like, they were, um, they were talking about a girl dying from the HPV vaccination while she probably had an allergic reaction or there was something else wrong with her or it was something else, you know, maybe not caused by the vaccine. Well, so what? Okay, one person died from it. There's bound to be someone who dies from every different thing in medicine. Like, it's just, someone's gonna die eventually. Um, but I just don't feel like it's necessary. And a lot of this stuff doesn't seem like it's even tested that well. Because it all seems so recent. Like, they haven't even given it much time and I don't know it's just crazy to me so I'm not getting Gardasil I'm not getting any of that crap I don't want to get any shots unless they're um mandatory and um what else was I gonna say oh yeah I love how back to swine flu I love how when people do die from it they fail to mention that there was something else wrong with them or there was a certain reason behind them dying. Oh, sorry. Just checking what song this is. Um, but yeah, I was watching, I think it was the doctors, and they were talking about this woman who died from swine flu, and they were showing her family, and they were so distraught, and they were just grieving her death and all this stuff. And I was like, well, um, okay that's nice and everything and then they, they they mention like five minutes after they show all that that she was pregnant well obviously when you're pregnant you're gonna have different reactions to stuff because your immune system isn't the same your body's like changing and everything's different so obviously you know that was probably that had something to do with it but no they didn't tell you that they wanted you to get all hyped up about it and freak out like oh my god I'm gonna die from swine flu and they were showing like all these high-tech um, things that they do for the people that do get admitted into the hospital and when they do have like serious cases of swine flu and it's just insane really 
it, it's really insane and um they were making a big deal because like 80 something kids in this country died from it what about cancer like you haven't heard about cancer lately you know and what about all the other things that people are dying from like okay yeah swine flu 86 people in this country sick kids uh that's really not that big of a number when you compare that to how many people in the people are in the world like four billion yeah not a big concern of mine really I mean obviously it is for their family and the people they care about and I mean it is something that you should you know be okay well that's it's not it's I'm not saying like it's nothing but it's really not what the media makes it out to be and frankly they're trying to make people just crazy about it like freaking out every two seconds it's ridiculous and they need to just shut up about it seriously it's so annoying I'm sick of turning on the TV swine flu this swine flu that like come on you know and then like when something else interesting does happen it's like it's almost like it doesn't get as much attention as swine flu is getting I don't know if that that's just how it seems to me but I don't know I just feel that this world is very messed up and the media how they cover everything is just it's all it's whacked it really is um, so you can agree with me disagree I don't care I know somebody's gonna leave a comment saying like oh my god you're such a bitch my aunt died from swine flu you're so heartless and uncaring you know, I don't really care, okay? Your aunt probably had something wrong with her. Find out. Find out. And if they did really die from swine flu, well then that's too bad for them. That's all I really have to say. I mean, it's not like I can bring them back to life. I don't possess those powers. But, um, I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Not really, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so this is my opinion. Feel free to comment and rate. And um, yeah, if I forgot anything, I'll add it in. And um, stay tuned for my next video. I'm not sure what that rant will be, but it, it'll, it'll be something good. I'm telling you. Alright, thanks for watching.